So we got there. But it's like the middle of the night. And it's this really quiet neighborhood. So we get out of the car and I walked up this little path to the house. The lights were on in the house. And I reached out to knock on the door. And as I reached out to knock on the door, it opens. And there I am. His eyes are my eyes and my eyes are his eyes. And it's true. They looked exactly alike. They're duplicates of each other. There was no doubt in my mind that they were twins. He's going, oh my God, I'm going, oh my God. He's going, holy crap, I'm going, holy crap. They just looked at each other and they moved it. They, every time Bobby moved his head, Eddie moved. And then Eddie would move and then Bobby would move. Like, like they were looking at a mirror. It was the weirdest thing. It was like the world faded away. And it was just me and Eddie. I want to start off and ask basically all three of you, but maybe Tim, you can start and, and we can kind of get thoughts from everybody um, about the trust factor. You know, making a film like this uh, involves a pretty significant degree of trust. I got um, uh, engaged, married, and had one child in the time it took me to convince these two guys to take part in this film. Uh, it was. <laughs> It was about four years. I, it, also, I should mention, it, it's, a, it's my first feature and first feature for most of the people who worked on the film as, as well. Um, trust is everything in documentary. Um, when, you, when you see the, the, the full story and understand what these guys have been through, you, you fully understand why they took a long time to kind of come on board and, and to trust us. Um, but what was extraordinary is that when they did commit and they did sit down for interview, they absolutely kind of went there emotionally. You know, that's what you're looking for in documentary. We're, we're looking for an emotional connection and uh, an emotional truth. You can have a kind of narratively accurate film, which is important, but without the emotion in documentary, for me, there's no connection with the audience. And these guys went to some very difficult, dark places for the film and opened their hearts to, to, the, to the audience. And without that, it wouldn't, there's no way it would be the documentary it is. It, it took a while. To, to get to know the, the team, particularly uh, Tim. And we understood after some time that they were really committed and they were really all in. And um, as Tim mentioned, for a number of reasons, we were reluctant um, to participate. But when we realized how committed and how all in they were, and Tim was, we were all in as well. And in terms of what we brought, we really didn't see past the camera to the audience. No disrespect to the audience. Tim is just extraordinarily talented at getting what he wants. And it was anything but cathartic. But I think that the, the final product speaks for itself. You know, um, for those of you who haven't seen the movie, we, we lost Eddie. And when we lost Eddie, the lights went out. We didn't do an interview of any kind. And we did not want our story to be exploited in any way. We didn't want anything to be sensationalized in any way. And how would we know, you know? So at the end of, the, at the end of this whole thing, Tim said he's done. We said, send us the link. He said, no, I'm flying over. Came to our houses, watched it with us. And at the end of it, we both did the exact same thing in different places. We got up, hugged him, and said, you came through. Thank you. <laughs>